it was here that we're putting in the launching ramp we have today. We poured it, and it was sticking up out of the ground by about three feet. So they brought a, a crane in, and it got away from them. The crane ran down into the water, in as far as the boom, and the boom still stuck out. So they wanted to know, would I go down and lift the crane up so they could drag it up to the launching ramp? Put my abalone mask on and go down under that crane. Got the cables pulled through, then I wanted to come back out, and the crane had to settle in the sand and there was no way to get out. And then my hose came tight, the air compressor that we had sitting on another boat broke free, and it was heading down towards Stern's Wharf, so I had no air. Next thing I knew, I was in a black space, except my granddad was standing there. And then he looked up at the surface. I said, okay. Ended up on the surface right away. Why didn't I die? I don't know. My clothes were all torn up like they'd pulled me out from under the crane, but my skin was okay. And I was alive again. I thank God for that. I've been a Christian ever since. This is from Hard Hat Divers Wear Dresses, which is written by Bob Kirby. And just that title alone gives you an idea of his sense of humor, right? As the years rolled along, I became a Navy diver, an abalone diver, a boat builder, a fisherman, an offshore welder, a construction diver, a machinist, a designer of diving helmets, an actor, and a manufacturer. He did everything. He had quite the career. Bob Kirby was one of the most important divers in the history of commercial diving. It is his name that you'll probably see first on any piece of major diving equipment in the world. I was working for the Fish and Game out of high school. One of their projects was counting abalone. So they had a diver and a boat a fellow by the name of Glenn Bickford. They asked me to come down to Morro Bay and meet him. They took me out in the boat, dressed me in a heavy goo. Down I went, about 30 feet of water. When the first time you go in the water, it, it takes your breath away. It's beautiful, especially when the helmet's half down and the water's right here and as you go down. That's fun. I didn't see any abalones. I was so involved in the bottom and what's going on around me, I didn't have time to look at abalones. <laughs> that was probably the, the beginning. <laughs> 